Yo, what is up guys? Corbin here bringing you another video and today I am bringing you yet another video. This is a reaction video, something new. I've been going on a... I don't know how to say it. I've been going crazy lately with new unique video ideas including in real life videos. Today I am in my beautiful presence of my father, Alex, my editor, my producer, my very good friend. Why don't you go and introduce yourself, Alex? Alex, Omnix, whatever you want to call me, his friend, I don't know if he calls me father, whatever. <laughs> okay, he also has a YouTube channel, link to that channel will be in the description, but I really hope today, so. no it will, I'm actually good at remembering. Good. Today, we are going to be reacting to three, three of my videos, you are about to be in the presence of Ilan, because I hear him going up the stairs. Uh. Do you want to say hi to the camera? He acts like a dinosaur in here. Why? <laughs> We're going to be reacting to three of my songs. The, thir the first one is going to be the Juice World song. Second one is going to be Message to Ryan. And the third one... Oh. No one asked you. Kill shot. <laughs> We're going to be reacting to those three songs. I am going to be going... I'm going to be telling you, I'm going to be literally telling you the lyrics, so there's no more confusion. I am going to be giving you meaning behind lyrics, even though I just write lyrics for lyrics. I don't actually put meaning behind them, but I'll find a way to incorporate that. But let's go ahead and get straight into this. Now, if you didn't know, there is a really easy way to access my songs. It's called a playlist. I have a playlist for all of my songs, literally, right here. We're going to this playlist, and it's gonna take me to Chiefs One It All, because that was my very latest song. First, let's go ahead and check out the Juice World song. Now, before I start this, <laughs> before I click onto this, I'm gonna have to let you know that the editing in this video is absolutely impeccable. Let's just get straight into it. Ah, Corbin Raps, R.I.P. Juice official music video. It's a one take a song, just a one take a song. Boom! I'm sure you missed it right there, but that is a hidden meaning. Um, when I said this is a one take song, this is a one take ass song, that is some, I want to say, I don't know exactly what song it is, but that's a Juice World reference because he said that in one of his songs. I'm terrible at these types of videos as well, so just brace yourself. Yeah, sure. I'm terrible. And what now? By the way, Sanya, hmm. very good job. You are doing always so good with Thank you. like editing. That's very cool. I mean, this part of my job right now. It's like free time. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working as the editor as well. That's very cool. Like some YouTubers already sent me, sent, sent me their clips, mm -hmm. and so t they told me like, edit please. Mm -hmm. And I already like made like twenty dollars dollars from one guy, and another one like around like. Do you yeah, do it like? Do you advertise grand. somewhere, or do you just? Yeah, I, I'm trying. Like, mm -hmm. if you ask people, just send me your clips. I'm gonna do this. I can do it for mm -hmm. free or even just for money. Sometimes they send me money because they want to. But I can do this for free. Yeah. Cool. As I really like it. I'm a prime example of for free. Yeah. Because okay. I'm broke. Well, thank you. No problem. Okay. Juice is dead in my feed. I thought it is make believe. That's another reference to one of his songs. Make believe. Then he tweets out why everyone tripping. Oh my god, what a relief. Um, if you didn't know, all the conspiracists. Conspiracists? Yeah. They were on Juice's ass when the news broke out that he got the seizure and then like I think it was like a couple like six hours after the death for what we suppose he tweets out why everyone tripping meaning that he tweeted that making it seem like he was still alive Damn, those edits, someone did a good job, you know? 
the guys. The edits there. are unbelievable. Yeah, I know. I wonder who it was. I, I gotta go hit well. him up right now. I really hope he makes money out of this. He definitely deserves it. He definitely deserves it. Yeah. Um, that was another reference to one of his songs, I Won't Let Go. That was yet another reference to one of his songs, Drink With Me, Lean With Me, Get High With Me, If You Rock With Me. That was Lean With Me reference. This is my favorite line of the entire song. Juice's body is now surrounded by reporters. TMZ, CBS, and all of the above. She told me to put my heart in the bag when she's not in love. It's kind of Snapchat from Dima. So that's obviously one of the lines from Robbery. She told me to put my heart in the bag. Um, so that's that. Um, TMZ, CBS, and all of the above. On God, when he died and I was going through my Snapchat, my entire feed was TMZ. Juice World dies at 21 from seizure in Chicago Midway Airport. It was unbelievable. Like, how, how do you do these? Damn. These, oh these ads, someone really needs to get paid of this. One, one ad equals one dollar of revenue for Alex. Songs like, he logs into my email and stuff. And <laughs> he goes onto my YouTube channel. Like, you can't see this. You have to be logged into my channel. Don't hack me, please. And <laughs> he sends me a picture. And it's like, estimated revenue for the month, $2. <laughs> $2. I don't get monetized, though, so I don't care. I mean, it mean it's by time. You know, we, we're going to get there. We're, we're going we're to get, get there. Like, it's just hard work and, uh, yeah. Hard I'm just going to grind. I'm going to get overly famous, and then I'm going to go fake my own death. Got to get through. Oh, yeah. Go see me. Um, heard the pilot snitch on me. Now I fold, like, one, two, three. Well, that's exactly what happened. He snitched on the cop saying that he had, like, 80 pounds of whatever it was that was in there. So, now I fold, like, one, two, three. Like, I fold in the snap of a finger really fast. You can hear when I told you in the beginning of this video that this song was very hard. That's what I meant. I didn't account for taking breaths, so I had to force it in there. If you, you, won't take song, you, you won't obviously take hurt. <laughs> I, I recorded that song 15 times, and every single time I said, This will one take a song, this will one take a song. Which is not. Took too many out ones so we didn't get fined. That's like a reference to the drug that gave him the seizure. You trying to read my mind, well, I can read your mind. That's a rich and blind reference. This. If starting from the Juice World song and moving forward, I started like getting into the habit of writing my first verse, writing like the next four or three or five, and then the very last verse is the hook again. That's how I write my songs, if you didn't realize. So this is just the first verse over again. I like this shit so much. It was so good. No, we were, so we recorded this in the winter, which is like, if you didn't know, the sun sun sets like way earlier in the winter than it does in the summer. So like, yeah. we were shooting this view, we were shooting this music video, and right when the sunset was happening, we were about to take this shot, and we were like, oh my god, we gotta go at the top of that hill. And then, well, that hill was like a five minute walk away. So by the time we got up there, that's what that looked like. Like, you should. I was and, so. And we do not regret it. I just literally. This shot is so good, but if we got there in time, the sunset was like actually impeccable. Yeah. It was, it's okay. I remember I was just scrolling through my Snapchat feed and this man starts doing YOLOs. And he was like, <laughs> the people were asking him, it's like most listened to song. And for whatever reason, he said Corvin Rap's message to Ryan. It is good song. I really actually like it, like for real. It's hilarious because that, I hate that song so much. I don't think Ryan watches my videos. In case you're getting misled, Ryan is a girl. It's like 
it's spelled differently. You can see it on the screen right now. My, Ryan is a girl. So that's why I was so lenient on writing this song. Because I've never written a song about a girl before. So she, I met her freshman year. I talk about this all in the song, but I just need a background check. She, we got really good friends like sophomore year in high school. Yeah. And then junior year, she reminds me, it's like, Corvin, I want you to make that song about me. Like, she brought the idea up sophomore year, and I completely forgot about it until junior year. And I was like, oh, well, I guess there's no more avoiding this, so I wrote this, and this is what came out. But that I've seen the feet of the great person that I will be talking to Tanner and they want first time I saw you now I'm done. Ryan is a popular girl. I don't know why I said that. Look at my face right now. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was Dale. Um I, the only reason I like knew of her was because one of my friends was in that class and Ryan was talking to him all the time. His name was Tanner. That's what that means. You're always happy to see me, and I'm happy oh to God. see you every day. I'm so when I what? see you, I feel like you're It's so crazy. It's the banner of the song. So, if you, if, if you watch my songs consistently, then you know that I try to be as PG as possible. Sure. So, you're always happy to see me, and I'm happy to see you. Every day after school, when I don't see you, I feel like poo. So... Sophomore year, sophomore or maybe junior, I think it was junior year, um, I would like consistently wait for her after school to like just say what's up, to just say Dude, what's my up. My boy was in love. No, not at all. <laughs> if they come up feisty, then I will bite. Okay, that, that's like the, you're never going to, if like only Ryan and I would understand that line. But I don't think Explain. Ryan would even understand. So, if they come up feisty, then I will bite. Um, <laughs> this is about to get ridiculous, but this is 100% the meaning of that line. Right. She has a chihuahua. <laughs> when you associate chihuahuas, you think of aggressive tiny dogs biting you. Let's be yeah. honest here. Yeah. yeah. That's what that means. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's also a line you'll never understand. So... Um, so junior year is when you take the SAT, if you didn't know. And my mom signed me up for like an SAT prep class, which I meant, I, I bring up later in the song for sure, because I hated that class. So I was in an SAT prep class, because the SAT is fairly important, and Ryan was in it. So one time we were working on like this English lesson, working on like grammar, <laughs> And I don't remember the exact line, but like, if you like untangled all the hidden meanings and like in the end you, the line was pretty much telling you that you eat butter. I had that prep class over and we would go home, we would go home and send each other pics of butter. To me you are golden like a gold star out of <laughs> Damn, all right. When I wrote that song, I was like, uh, that was like when I was at my prime of being a Fortnite addict. So I was like, gold scar. <laughs> Comment if you want me to record a Fortnite video. That's a lie. I, I don't think there are any rappers in FaZe. But um, that's like a reference. Like, FaZe um, is like at the top of like... Yeah, that FaZe is at the top of the gaming world. Like, this is me bragging that I'm a good rapper. Okay, I needed to bring that up. That's what I was so scared about. I, th that, Like I told you, I was terrified people were going to misinterpret this and they were going to be like, oh my God, Corvin and Ryan are... No, I needed to... Like, that's why I wrote that. This is why I wrote that line. Like, I needed to address that this is not a love song, but Ryan asked for it. Saturdays are for the boys. This is, this I really like. I like when, like, this, this transition is good. Produced by Alex. Finally, we're over with. Let's move on to the last song, Kill Shot. So, Kill Shot is a diss track on my hater. Um, the reason I decided to name it Kill Shot was, if I'm not mistaken, at the time that I wrote that, Eminem was having his beef with MGK, and if you don't remember, the, the diss track that ended Machine Gun Kelly was named Kill Shot, that's yeah. why I named So, he's a hater of mine, he's, well, ever since I wrote this diss track, 
He went bye-bye, get destroyed. But up until that point, he would be commenting on all of my videos. It's unbelievable. So I needed to address that. I didn't know who he was because he was such a coward and he wouldn't confront me in person. So I'm pretty sure he sat at my lunch table last year. That's what people were telling me. He still didn't reveal himself. So I just assume who it is. And this is back when Alex was... I'm not... Don't get mad at me, okay? This what? is when he was a lazy editor and he let one clip go on for like three entire remember, verses. Yeah. This is like... This is all you're going to be looking at for like the next... <laughs> like one minute. It was unbelievable. Yeah. And I'm like... Okay. Behind the scenes, you jamming out to my music. But afterwards, you deny so you pretend to be sick. That's... Yeah. That's me again, like giving myself cloud, like saying like, you can't resist and listen to my amazing music when in reality, cause he does listen to my music cause he comments on all of my songs. <laughs> you don't like my videos nor my personality when you just a fat guy behind the screen with a big titty. So from what people were telling me at my lunch table, it, they were telling me it was like this fat Mexican who sat at my table and I think it's safe to associate fat people with big titties. Yeah. When you're just a fat guy behind the screen with a big titty in the weight room, I'll be making gains while you sell an out to gay Hanes. Um, in the weight room, I'll be making gains while you sell an out to gay Hanes. So this guy wasn't doing anything. So in the weight room, I'd be making gains while you sell an out to gay Hanes. It makes absolutely no sense. I just thought it was funny because. When I meant when I said gay hands, I was talking about like the really really tight underpants. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like the disgustingly tight ones. That's what I was talking about. What? <laughs> you can see the speaker in the background. <laughs> so this is before oh, I memorize. So like I try to memorize my lyrics so like the music videos go by as fast as possible so we can get the songs up as as fast as possible. Yeah. But like way back then, I struggled so hard with memorizing my lyrics. That's so. so to help with my lip syncing, we would put, upload the song, we would record the video, we would record the audio, and then we would upload it privately. And then we would shoot the music video and then upload it. That's the process, like to this day. Yeah. And he would upload it and he would connect to that speaker. So literally, as I'm singing, like, you can hear it. And then he mutes the audio so it just looks like I'm lip syncing. Yeah. That's ex <laughs> the speaker. <laughs> what a sexy beast right there. Look, it's blue. It matches with my sweatshirt. For double D effects. Think my bars are fake when there are no effects. Uh, four kill shot. This, why, it just looks so good. Like the flash in a dark room and then you point at a wall for absolutely no. It just looks so good. I know. All right. That is it. You oh, got finally. I'm free to go. Thank you for watching this vid. I am out of here. Peace out.